What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I've been using iOS 14.2 beta for the past almost 24 hours and I must say this is a well refreshed update. So far I've seen a new widget here from Google search. So if you have the Google search app, I have a tons of Google app right here, you get this nice new widget and it looks amazing. You could search with the Google lens. If you guys know what that is, you have the voice search right here and also you have an incognito window so if you want to search anything out of the blues you know you just hit that incognito and you're on your privacy way to heaven next up they've added a lot of stuff with shazam so shazam integration if you guys didn't know apple officially acquired shazam back in late 2018 with ios 14.2 apple is now finally building on that acquisition by integrating shazam right into the os now in ios 14 we don't have to always ask siri to play that song or what song is playing now we could jump onto our control center hit the shazam button And as you can see, it picked up Skybox, which I'm playing on this phone here from Gunna. And then you send you this nice banner. And we could click that banner right here. Boom. It will bring you to the song. And you could listen on Apple Music. I'm not sure why they're not telling us to listen it on Spotify. But it is what it is. Also in iOS 14, when you're not playing music, the music widget in the control center will suggest music for playback in a new stunning UI. So if you just 3D press onto here, you'll see all the music you've used. Obviously, your tiles will be filled more, more diverse, but because I'm a Spotify user, I don't have that much tiles curated to my like song that I've listened to before. So in iOS 14.2 beta one, there's a new people detection feature. So if you go into the magnifying app right here let's search for it this is the magnifying app it's the magnifier if it's not there you just want to toggle it on into settings but inside this app we have this new feature that will allow us to toggle the camera and let you guys with poor vision like me know how far other people are away from you so now if you're in the comments like Siobhan how do I add all of these stuff I don't see it in the control center you want to go into settings then you want to scroll to control center and if the app you're looking for like the music recognition it will be down here so for example let's hit that magnifier one hit plus and then it will drag it up onto the control center now if we toggle the control center we'll find the magnifying app we could hit that and it will open it and then we could try to find or people or whatever we're trying to magnify we could just use that right there so yeah also the battery life how's the battery life been in the past 24 hours and let's go into the battery so this is my battery performance so far the last 24 hours it has been good the last 10 days on is 14 has been good, good as well i get around six hours screen on time and this is because i'm a heavy user of the phone if you don't use the phone that much iOS 14 is pretty good on battery life on the iPhone 11s and up. I'm not sure about the devices lower than that because I haven't tested. But so far, it's looking great with iOS 14. It's snappy. I have no issues or bugs whatsoever. I've seen a few people saying that their Chrome and also the mail default applications are not working well. But that's why they have new betas here. So if I go into the settings, let's go into Chrome. And as you can see, my default browser app is Chrome right there. For the default mail app situation, if you guys are using Gmail as your default mail, Gmail hasn't updated anything on the Apple stores yet. So if I search for, let's go ahead right here. As you can see, there's no Gmail update, but for now, Microsoft Outlook has updated it. So if you go into settings and if we're, for example, in Microsoft Outlook, you could see that we could change it to Outlook as the default mail app. So you guys need to spam Gmail, let them know they need to update their stuff. Because if we go over to Gmail right here, and then as you can see, we can't do anything to change it to our default mail client. So yes, guys, that wraps up for this video on my review of iOS 14.2 beta 1. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, drop a like down below, subscribe, and as always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.